Hi everyone, I'm Kemal with Thrive Mushrooms from Kankakee, Illinois. Today I want to talk about the incubation period of mushrooms. In here in this tent, I have 120 bags of oyster mushrooms and each bag are 10 pounds. What I focus more is the heat of this room, uh, which is around 72 Fahrenheit degrees and or like 74 Fahrenheit degrees. Uh, the mushrooms, the bags uh, within them, they create heat because the mushroom seed or mushroom spore, it uh, creates an energy while moving towards everywhere and then this energy uh, turns to chemical reaction and uh, with the chemical reaction we, we get uh, hydrogen and uh, nitrogen, basically uh, the gas ammonia. This ammonia gas smells a little weird, but I kind of like it. Uh, and uh, you want some sort of exhaust because uh, you don't want to feel or you don't want to have your mushroom bags sitting under the gas. Uh, it's not gonna be very good for them, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, but you know, if you can exhaust your uh, room like you know once in a while, that should work. Uh, if there's a fan within your greenhouse that will help as well uh, for the gas to travel around the room and not constantly staying on top of the bags so this is something that I want to tell with the putting of enough mycelium in the bag uh, you can change the speed of your colonization for example if you put like 10% uh, grain spawn uh, to your substrate bag uh, that should be more than enough, I think. But if you put 15% of grain spawn, you will fasten your colonization. So it's going to colonize faster and uh, you'll get more fruit if you would put 15%, for example. And if you put 3% of mycelium or grain spawn, for example, or sawdust spawn, for example, uh, you will have less colonization because uh, it'll take some more time for it to travel. And the negative thing with less... Uh, spawn usage is if there is a mold or bacteria, for example, within the bag, uh, your less grain spawn sometimes don't have the chance to combat them and colonize them. But if you put like 15% of grain spawn or soda spawn, for example, uh, your soda spawn or grain will, you know, suppress them and colonize them. And with secreting the enzymes, they will kill uh, the molds most of the time. So uh, using a uh, large amount of uh, grain spawn is a good idea. And how does the incubation start? You have your sterilized grain spawn, clean grain spawn, and you have your clean sterilized bags. Basically you open the bag and you fill the grain spawn or soda spawn and then you seal your bag and then you put them in a dark room. Mold likes light. Uh, mold doesn't like uh, dark as much as the light so uh, if you darken your uh, room uh, it's good for your mycelium to colonize because uh, if there's a light uh, mycelium doesn't like it and mold kind of likes it so uh, you want to keep your room in dark please let me know if you have any questions these are uh, my substrate bags they are 10 pound each and it usually takes from 12 to 16 days depending on how much you inoculate your bags. Happy New Year everyone. Take care.